You know how sometimes you don't even know what is uh, holding you back from your full potential until you're asked the right questions. Today's the 10th year anniversary since my mom has transitioned and my story changed when she was leaving, when she was transitioning. And I learned things about her that I didn't know. I asked her right before she passed some really crazy questions to why she had to abuse me. And I couldn't believe I said it at that point. And what came next changed the trajectory of my life and transformed my story. She said, my brothers abused me when I was little. And the pain of realizing that the abuser was once abused that she was just a child who couldn't find a way to heal. Do you ever find yourself reflecting back on childhood memories? Maybe you don't, maybe you suppress them, where you feel like you weren't loved, or maybe you felt like you're not good enough. So my whole life I spent turning to alcohol, drugs, until I finally realized, as my mom was transitioning, that none of this was her fault, and I played this victim gave my whole life. So I started to transform so fast. Human design, meditation, psychedelics, tantra, being by myself, letting everything go, living in an RV, and starting a community for my house. And then people were like, are you writing a book? Are you writing a book? Everything you're saying, you're actually the person that is <laughs> the true, like you're healing yourself so fast. Like, how are you doing this? So then, Fast forward seven years, 15 hour days, my book became a bestseller, The Girl with the Buddha Tattoo. And throughout the process, my life changed. I was able to transform, to realize a deeper level of who I am, the stories that were running the show. I was able to understand my why. And that's what kept me writing and helped me understand my purpose, helped me tune in to the highest and best version of myself. So this book is a creation of you becoming your best self in the process. It helps connect all the dots. And now eight books later, I am invited to speak and help incredible souls to channel their books, to understand why they came here with the human design, with the gene keys, to really unleash full potential because my mom died with her story inside of her. Okay? There were a lot of things that she did not share and maybe if she shared her story, she could free her soul. She could find a community of people that resonate with her truth. After she passed, my dad said, your mom wanted to be a nun, but she was too scared. Could you imagine the stories that she took with her? Could you imagine the stories that people take with them without having unleashed them in this lifetime through a powerful tool called a book? I don't want you to die with your story inside you. If a book is on your heart, then this is the moment. And I want to share with you how to create a vision, not only for the book, but also for the impact and movement that your voice wants to create in the world as a result of you sharing your truth, your message in a systematic approach, in a way that people can understand why you came here, in a way that you can communicate your truth because you transcend and release these layers of not good enoughness and all these different things that are holding you back from being your true authentic you. If this message right now resonates with you, I'm saying that I am here and I've teamed up with Dr. Jessica and this Friday we are bringing it down. We want to show you how to share your story and to impact millions of people at story2millions.com. We want to share with you how incredible your story is, how to not only be able to share it to transform, but also how to transform it and to understand why you came here and to become millions, millions of kisses, millions of hugs, millions of beautiful places, the experience version of who you are all powered with human design so you can manifest by being your authentic self using your energy the right way leading yourself leadership your own ship so you can lead others if this message resonates with you right now go to story 2 millionscom sign up and I am so excited to show you these beautiful gifts I've received once I surrendered to the flow these channeling abilities and uh, 
rock out with you. And here's a song that I made that I want to share with you that I made for my mom with a really cool AI app that helped me channel the beautiful melody. Thank you, mom, for standing by for all the times you wiped my eyes. Now I live beneath the sky with my love. Our spirits fly on the beach we play. Satori laughs all day. Mom, in every way, you helped me find my way in the sand I see. The love you gave to me, life so wild, so free. Mom, you set me free Thank you, Mom, for standing by For all the times you wiped my eyes Now I live beneath the sky With my love Our spirits fly continue the legacy of our parents, our grandparents, uh, because we are uh, the strongest version of ourselves that's ever walked the planet Earth. So keep the legacy alive. Keep going. You're strong and you can make magic happen. So this is your wake up call.